Hello everybody and welcome back to Willowire. Today we are playing YS1 and 2 Chronicles. We've already beaten YS1, so now we're moving on to YS2. Probably gonna be a bit loud. Ancient YS Vanished, the final chapter. Did we load? Is that what we were supposed to do? There's no data. Okay, no. Okay. So you just do a complete new game. Oh, yay. Why is complete 2001, but Chronicles is 2009? I don't remember what we chose for the other one, so we're just going to go with Chronicles because it's newer. On oh, normal. He has... Oh, my. It's way too fast. <clears throat> That is way too fast for me to read. This at all Christians perseverance is admirable. Okay, very good, sir. I could not read that. Um, I don't know what system YS2 originated on. I would assume the NES. My god, why is it going so fast? You can't read. There's no way anybody would read that. Oh. Okay, so the fast forward button is not on. That's the normal speed. Is this, is this just going on its own? Like, am I already in the game? What is happening? Why is it going so fast? Uh, yes, that's what it looked like anyway. How is he, Leonore? I think that should do it, actually. His wounds aren't particularly dire. He'll be fine. He just needs a little rest. Look, he's coming too. Why am I always passed out when they find me? Just relax, please. This is a safe place. My mother and I live here. What's your name? <clears throat> Adol gave his name. Adol Christian, your injuries are nothing serious. You're going to be just fine. With a bit of rest. Lilia Benoia, Benoa tried to let him sleep for a while, as long as he needs. I should be getting back to the clinic. My brother's likely returned by now. Thanks for your help. See, I don't know what system this originated on. I would assume any yes. Well, answer your questions later, Adolf. For now, get some sleep. You need it. I have questions. Did the goddesses throw me off the tower when we finished? Is that what happened? Where did my levels go? Everything is back to the normal. Hey, look, I still got the books. Can I still read them? Um. Long ago, Claria was created in YS. Or he is. It is displayed in the Temple of Solomon... As a monument of prosperity, but suddenly disaster struck. In the shadow of prosperity, evil had grown and brought the seeds of suffering. I think this is the same. I think it's all the same. Okay, let's unequip that. We don't need that. <clears throat> so, I still run really, really fast. Look at that. Whee! I'm like a freaking zippy de zuda. <laughs> Should you really be up and about already? Your wounds are still fresh. You mustn't strain yourself. Recover fully, then proceed on whatever quest you've undertaken. What should we discuss? This land has been called Yis for ages. You speak as if you just got here. Uh, but yeah, did they throw me off the tower or something? Like, what happened? Are you from another world or something? <clears throat> this is Lance Village. And yes, you collapsed near... A place we call the ruins of 
Mundoria. Please make yourself at home. I have a or have a look around the village if you'd like. These days, Mundoria is in shambles. In its heyday, though, it flourished under the jurisdiction of the priests. Ever since the demons showed up, though, none of the villagers dare go near it. Well, almost none. Restini Mine is particularly dangerous, you see, so keep the entrance under constant guard. <clears throat> there are some old ruins intermixed with the mine tunnels at Restini. Iron ore and herbs are quite abundant around such spots. We'd often gather them and call it mining. But ever since the demons showed up, well, even our half-hearted versions of mining have uh, has seemed far less viable. Dr. Flair still goes down to pick herbs every now and again, though despite our best efforts to convince him not to. Okay. My husband passed away when Lilia was very young, so it's just been the two of us for most of her life. Lilia is the only reason I've been able to cope with the horrors that continue to plague us here. If I were ever to lose her. <clears throat> Lilia is out at the moment. She took a basket with her, so I believe she's picking apples. If you go out for a walk, you may run into her. Are you honestly feeling better? Don't lie to me. If you're still injured, you should rest. If you're going out at all, I have a favor to ask. Could you deliver this letter to Leonore's brother, Dr. Flair? See, I don't think that the game is sped up too much because the sound is right and everything else seems to be right, but they're words. How would they expect anybody to read everything that we've seen so far that's not, you know, I can click to get past? That's insane. Lilia may look well, but in truth, she suffers from severe illness. I'd like to discuss it with Dr. Flair, but I don't think he's come back to the village yet. And if something isn't done soon, I fear what may become of my poor daughter. So would you please search for Dr. Flair on my behalf and give him this letter for me? I suppose the best place to start would be the clinic. It's possible he returned without me realizing it. I feel so bad for the poor girl. She doesn't even know she's sick. How would you not know she's sick? Well, that door is blocked. Why would you block your own door? Okay, well, let's go. Alright. Oh, I wonder. How is this possible? What? How is this possible? How do I still have these people? Weird. Oh wait. That makes me wonder as well. Maybe it did transfer over from the first game. But if that's the case, you know, none of the monsters did. Oh wait, one more thing, one more thing. Alright, so we got that one in this one. Uh, what if... Nope. Nope, there's only two things. Alright, well we know we still only got two things there. We gotta find another bestiary though. There's... Laszlo, this is driving me crazy. I haven't been able to go down into the mine to look for iron ore since the demons showed up. I wish I could make armor again, but I've got no metal to use, and no pickered skin uh, doesn't work, believe me. There's an old mine under the ruins of Mundoria. It was closed a long time ago when the ore deposits started drying up, and then six months ago the demons showed up. The lack of ore, and the monsters alike, are causing no end of grief for boats and the other miners. Oh, am I going to have to shield into people again? Awesome, awesome. Those books you've got are so cool. How can you see my books? I haven't seen you before, mister. Where are you from? Far, far away. Mister, there's nothing far from here. Just because I'm a kid, do you think I'm stupid or something? 
Apparently you are. I'm far, far from here in time, apparently. Because it seems like I'm in the land of ease, which means, you know, years and years ago. Guido? Welcome, I sell swords, shields, and armor here. My stock is a bit low right now, but do feel free to look around. There are demons all over out there. Going outside with no weapons or armor would be suicide. You should make certain you're well prepared before leaving the confines of the village. I really wish I had a better selection for you, but we just don't have the materials we need. It's just too risky to look for ore while Rustini is swarming with demons. A friend of mine is a miner, so I asked him about it, but he said there's no way he's going down there. Can't say I blame him. I wouldn't want to risk my life down there either. But that's why we don't have any really good armor here. Laszlo's an excellent armorsmith, but he really isn't really able to do much with his skills these days. If I just had some iron ore, I'd be able to hand it over and get some really high quality armor made. We have some fine swords here. Always remember though to keep what you need and what you can afford in balance. It's an important decision. It's pretty small and easy to handle. It wouldn't put too much faith in it if you're going to be fighting demons, but it's certainly better than nothing. 200. I have no money. I don't have money at all. I did not mean to do that. Okay, well, I know I can buy everything from this guy. My word, I can't even get out of it. There we go. Thanks for your business. Come again soon. Is that a book? There's a book. I want the book. It looks pick upable, but it's not pick upable. Why is it like that? Oh, not near. Well, this place was useless. Here, cat. No point in going in there. There's eggs. Chickens! Wow, this, this place is big. I'm keeping watch over the village to make sure the demons don't get in. The demons don't generally get come this far. But still, you never can be too careful. It would be nice if you would have at least given me $200 so I could at least get a sword. All iron ore are gratefully accepted. Bring your stock to Guido's Armory. Have you heard the ringing sound coming from beneath the village? There's a rumor going around that it's the sound of some bell used to summon demons. What we need is a bell to keep them away, not draw them in. Lilia, at all, are you sure it's okay for you to go outside? Thank goodness. Leonor said you'd be fine, but I couldn't help being worried until I saw your recovery with my own eyes. Here, I have an apple for you. They say one each day keeps Dr. Flair away. I received a delicious looking apple. I picked it myself. Remind me sometime and I'll show you where the best apple trees can be found. Okay. I heard there used to be six kinds of magic in yish, one handed down by each of the six priests. Legs is always going on and on about it. In fact, I'll bet he's off at the ruins again right now, staring at the goddess statue all creepily. Hey, I'm Theo. I raise pickards here. But with all the demons running around these days, I can't put them out to pasture anymore. So we're raising them here. And my annoying little sister likes to keep an eye on them. What's this place? Fancy! Hey, look who it is. I actually get to see who they are now. Maybe. It could just be depictions. Oh, hello! Nice weather we're having, isn't it? My husband's out walking. It's a fine day for a walk, don't you think? Okie dokie. Not 
really sure where to go. Hey, look at Green Hair Girl. Hey, can you tell, or can I tell you something? Just between you and me, swear you won't tell another soul. Why would somebody that doesn't know who I am say that? <clears throat> when I go to bed at night, I hear the most dreadful screaming and clattering coming from beneath the village. Maybe it's all in my head, but it just seems so real. I haven't had a good night's sleep in weeks. If this doesn't stop soon, I swear I'm going to lose it. Well, the fact that you told a random stranger not to tell anybody ever again, you didn't even tell me your name. My husband is an armor smith, but he hasn't been able to work for some time on account of his iron ore running low. I can't bear to see him like this. Dad's a really good armor smith, but he hasn't been able to make armor for a while because he has no iron. All he does now is wander the village like a loon. I hate seeing him like that on numerous levels. Uh, there we go. Okay. Well, if nothing else, we're getting more homes down. Wait, we already got this area. Okay, down we go. Wait, what about you? I hear a lot of rumors, and one speaks of an old stone tablet enshrined within the ruins of Mundoria. Supposedly, it details a mystical location known as the Sanctuary of Toll. Finding it might make for an interesting goal to set in your adventure, if you should feel so inclined. I feel like I already talked to you. Yeah. I talked to you. Oh, how about you? I feel an evil presence in Gila's basement. I hate to be a pessimist, but what if there are demons down there? Well, I can't do anything because nobody wants to give me 200 bucks. I guess we'll go take a look. What's up? Did you need something? Leave me be. If you have no business with me, then please just go. Don't disturb my solitude. I loathe uncivilized ruffians. I'm gonna uncivilize your basement. Never mind, I can't uncivilize your basement. You won't let me in. I have a reflection. Any other way in there? How does she know it's the basement? <clears throat> I'm looking after the pickard. There are five pickards in the pen. Five! <laughs> The count, really? No, oh, there we go. Oh, I look at the itty bitty wee the pickards. Itty bitty wee the pickards. All right, let's see. Hello there, boats. Oh dear, I just don't know what to do. I don't think I can face either Doctor Flair or Laz Lois Sing Stand. Because of the demons in the mine, I haven't been able to get in there to restock iron or or medical or medicinal herbs. I have a wife and two daughters at home, you see, so I simply can't afford to risk my life like that. <clears throat> you could, but, you know, probably wouldn't be a good idea. My husband is a miner. It's his job to look for herbs and iron ore in the abandoned Rustini mine and the ruins of Mundoria. <clears throat> but both have been swarming with demons lately, so the going is not easy. We're twins! Twins! Even our dad can't tell us apart. Can't tell, can't tell. Our mother can't tell us apart either. Can't tell, can't tell. Even we can't tell each other apart. Nope, can't tell. Okay. Wait, is that true? We can tell each other apart just fine, big sis. Nope, I'm the little sis. <clears throat> oh yeah, I guess you are. Kids. Oh, what about you? You're the travelers who's been staying at Lilia's house now? You look well, feeling better, I take it. Lilia was worried sick about you. Ah, uh, you know, she's a very pretty young lady, and as sweet as a bucket of sugar. And you, you're not so bad looking yourself. You never know, you two might be a match made in heaven. If you say so. Is this the doctor's house, finally? You look like the lady I already talked to. Nope. 
Hello, the masters of the house aren't in right now, I'm afraid, but do make yourself at home if you wish. Me? I'm Master Estal's housekeeper. Estal and the old man Leg both live here, though they're not related to one another. <clears throat> Get okay. I came back here. Maybe it's over this way then. What about this place? That looks like a clinic. Oh, this is terrible, just awful. What's with all the shouting, Leonore? <clears throat> it's... It's a carrier pigeon that just arrived at the note from Dr. Flair. There was a cave-in at the Rustini mine. The rocks have blocked the passage and I'm trapped. I can only pray this bird makes it back with my litter. If you're reading this, please send help. This is terrible. You mean to tell me that Dr. Flair is trapped in the abandoned Rustini mine? So it would seem I don't know what to do. I'd be completely lost down in that mine when the demons would overpower me in a second. There's nothing I can do to help. I'm powerless. Wait, we have a swordsman among us. At all, won't you please go to Dr. Flair's aid? Please, I beg of you, rescue my brother. We need him here now more than ever. Yes, at all, please. It would mean a great deal to me as well. Thank you. What's that? Benoah asked you to deliver a letter to my brother? All right, go, Benoah. With two of us pressuring you to find him, you really have no choice but to give in. Is he saying go, Benoah, like, yay, Benoah, for sending you? Is that, is that what it is? I don't have much to give, but please, use this to buy some equipment. Okay, well, I got 300, so I can get a sword and maybe a shield is 100. We're counting on you, Adol. Show us what you're made of. Oh, and Adol, just so you know. You'll find Astal guarding the entrance to the ruins. He won't let you in without the Elder's permission, so you may wish to drop by the Elder's house before you go. I don't know who the Elder is, unless it was that one that was down here. Is this his house? Nope. Alright, well let's go get the sword first. Oh, it's a cat. I was like, what the heck is that thing? There it is. No sword, no power, so... Sword first. Why aren't you at the table? There we go. No, I did it again. Alright, I really would like to get a shield. People tend to think of shields as less important than armor, but you'd be surprised how useful they are. Anyway, have a look around. Surround yourself in the opulence of my stock and imagine would if they were yours. It's a hard wooden shield. It's light and easy to handle, but I wouldn't suggest going up against demons with it. Probably fine to start with, though, but you should definitely upgrade as soon as you can. How's 100 sound? Alright, that works. Alright, well, now we're broke. But at least we got the first two weapons. But armor, whatever. You know what I mean. There. Alright. I... I don't know where the elder would be. Or who the elder would be, for that matter. I mean, maybe I can check a couple of homes and see if any old men are walking around. Wait, wait, wait. What about this guy? Nope. What about this place? Oh my word, let me in. Hmm. Nope. 
I mean, it definitely looks like it. Oh, here he is. Elder Cornell. Whoa, that's weird. All right. Is it one of my ancestors? Is that what this is? Ah, you must be the man Lilia found out in the field. That all, was it? My name is Cornell. I serve as this village's elder, and I actually have a question for you. I was walking in the ruins the other day when I crossed ways with a pair of young girls. Were they also from the surface? I would have asked them their names, but I was taken aback by their beauty. They looked just like the goddesses. Without thinking, I began telling them for a short while, but then they simply disappeared. Maybe I was just hallucinating. Anyway, I understand you have six ancient books with you. Might I please have a look at them? Adol showed the books of years to the Elder. Hmm, yes, there's no doubt about it. These are the books that the priests of years handed down to their descendants. These may very well serve as proof that the priests, the priests themselves have guided you here to Yis. Each holds the thoughts and memories of one of the six priests. There is a place in the Rastini mine known as the Sanctuary of Toll, where a statue of each priest has been erected. I believe your next course of action should be to return the books to the hands of these statues. When all six books have been returned to the priests, you may learn the nature of your destiny here in Yis. The entrance to Restini Mine is in the ruins of Mundoria, to the north of the village. A man named Astal stands guard there, but if you tell him that I've given my blessing, he'll let you through. Okay. I should probably save. How do I save? Oh, right, files. There we go. Ah! I ran into a person! He talked to me! Wait, who are you? Oh. Alright, let's get some money! Why is the music still town music? I don't know if this is too loud or not, I'll have to... Oh, that's the tower. The goddesses threw me up on top of the land of Yiz that used to be down in that crater. That's where I am. So what, am I bringing Yiz down to the surface again or something? I got an apple. Another apple. Is there a reason for these apples? It honestly looks like I could reach it, but that's okay. I also got a flower. Marley flower. Okie dokie. I'm sure there's a reason for these. Probably. You have to be very specific about where you stand. Where's all the enemies? Awful lot of peace around here for being a game about saving people. There's a lot of flowers. Whoa. <clears throat> ah, all. Hello there. Isn't this a wonderful place? It's my absolute favorite spot. I have to wonder where the demons originated from. I mean, looking at Yiz from this vantage point, it just seems so peaceful and inviting. Adol, look there across the field. Do you see that frozen cliff? That's the ice ridge of Noltia. And the building on top of the ice ridge is Solomon Shrine where the goddesses used to live. We've only ever seen it from here. None of us ever actually or have ever actually gone there. I wonder what it's like. 
Well, I'm off to pick flowers. Take care, at all. I love marl flowers. They grow all over the field, so they're not exactly rare. But there's something magical about them that just fills me with energy. You want them? No? Oh wait, maybe I have to equip them. Oh. Oh, it must be for magic! And then this is probably for food, or for health, yep. That's what it is. One's for magic and one's for health. Okay, that makes sense. I wasted one, but at least now I know. I noticed that, uh, at all, considering how many games there are of Yiz, um, at all seems to have an awful lot of love interests already. We got two to three already. In just two games. Okay, this place is like a little bit of a maze. I wish you could jump off the walls. That would make it a lot faster. At least there's a collecting aspect to it now. Wow, that was fast. So the ruins are directly above? Did I... Oh, I got money. Sweet. I need to find the potion. Or do I? Maybe I don't need to find the potion. I don't need to find the potion. Alright, well that's nice. Well, unless the potion of course does that thing where... Hang on. Whoops. Nope. Wait. Nope. Alright, so without the potion, it doesn't do the thing that puts the uh, stats on it. Uh, hey, I leveled up. It's weird because it doesn't look like level up spots. Hey there, I'm Estal from Lance Village. You're at alright. It's good to see you're feeling better. What's that you say, Dr. Flair's been involved in the cave in? How awful! So you've come to rescue him then, I suppose. But I can't open this door without the others express. Oh, you have permission. Well then, in you go. So, how did the doctor get past this guy? There are a lot of demons roaming in the abandoned Rustini mine these days. The villagers don't go down there at all anymore, save for when they need medical herbs. Medicinal. And even then, it's usually just Dr. Flair himself, so do be careful down there, okay? Alright, so Dr. Flair went down there. I guess he had permission. <clears throat> God, dog keep coming to my room. Huh. Can't get through those things. Alright, I had to take a time out there for a couple of seconds. Alright, so I can't get through these guys yet, but that's okay. I'm sure there's a reason. Let's see what we got. Old man! Oh, it's Leg. Eh? Who might you be? Oh, hey, I know. You're the boy my door was looking after. I don't know, was it? My name, believe it or not, is Leg, but you can call me the Leg Man if you so desire. You look like the swordsman of some skill. That's such a baby to ask of you. No, most of it don't. You're not yet strong enough to handle the power of the priests. Ho, 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 ho. It's a statue of the two goddesses of Yes. Okay. Why do they kind of look more like demons? I've seen too many succubus in my life to trust that statue. Alright, let's see. Is there anything else here? I do not think that there is, but I really, really, really wanted that bestiary potion. That was an easy one. I wonder how many levels I can get in this one.
Luckily, I already know what I'm doing. Oh, I almost died. Okay, well, that's a bit of a problem, though, isn't it? There's a dog trying to get in. Alright, well, let's just go in the cave. Hey, I leveled up. The good thing about being in the beginning of the game is my uh, levels will come quickly. So that means that my health will restore quickly because there's not a lot of it to restore. Oh, I see the health bar now. Oh, there was a new place. I think. I got a pear. Oh, oh no, I got a rhodia, a rota fruit. Because there was at least one more spot to search then. Now look how much money I've already gotten. A couple of level ups and some money. Maybe it'll be enough. Sanctuary of Toll. Let's save real quick. There we go. You. Am I not able to hurt this thing? Oh, that's not good. I can't hurt any of them. Nope, time to go. All right, so basically we need to go and fight these monsters until we have enough money for the next sword and then uh, come back, I guess. So, hmm. I might call this one good. I'll let you guys know when I decide. Alright, so I wasn't expecting to do this, but right here in this spot on the wall, I found an ancient tablet. I just saw some writing on the wall. I was like, hey, what is that? And, uh, I mean, not much really show for where it is, but, you know, this, this area here had it. So let's see what it is. Oh, it's one of the first things. Uh, stone tablet describing the books of Yis and the Sanctuary of Toll. I wonder if this is that thing that girl was talking about. The following is written in worn letters on the tablet. The words of the priests lie within the six books and their power will lead the hero to this land. The low ground is a door, sealed shut to halt the demon's advance. When the books have been restored to the rightful owners, the seal will be released. That sounds like a bad thing. Hmm. Any hoosers, I've got $408 and I've leveled up at least once. I'm about to level up again. So I'm going to continue doing this until I get 500 and then I'm going to go buy another sword. And then I'll probably head in. Alright, so I leveled up again at the same time I got the $500. Uh, so we're clicking on the long sword here. It's a little on the heavy side with the long blade. This is definitely what you want if you're planning to do some serious fighting with the demons. I'll let it go for a cool thousand dollars. I will be back. Alright, so we finally got a thousand dollars. It took a decent amount of time. Not as long as I would have thought, but yeah, long enough. So, can we even buy this? Now that is, is it's not a work of art. This curved blade has an exceptionally fine cutting edge. It takes a fair degree of skill to use it, but you seem to know what you're doing. You'll pick up on it in no time. Wow, that's five thousand. That's gonna be a while. No, I did it again. Alright, so I'm going to head back to the mine again. And we'll meet back up there. Alright, so we made it back to the place. We're going to test out this sword on this guy first. See what happens. I did it. And I got a rod of divinity. Well, let's see what that does. Nope. Okay. Items. A cane made from fine old wood and yiz. It served as proof of a great leader. It's an old wooden wand. But it has a strange air of dignity to it. How about, how about I talk to this guy now? Where is he? Here we go. There he is. Swordsman! That which you hold is none other than the Rod of Divinity. 
It's just what I always assumed would be in that treasure chest. The statue up ahead represents the two goddesses of Yis. The rod of divinity signifies one who is worthy to lead. The magic of the priests shall be inherited only by its bearer. If you touch the rod upon the goddess statue, I believe you will receive the ability to use magic. From this point on, your magic power shall surely show you the way. The moment Adol touched the rod to the goddess statue, he felt a surge of energy course through his body. Cool. But... What? I, I don't... Hang on, maybe this guy will tell me. At first, I had pegged you for just another shiftless young man. But you've proven to be an honest-to-goodness hero, a real credit to the goddess's names. How? I've not done a single thing. Swordsman. The six forms of magic that the priests once used still exist somewhere in Yiz. Finding them is one of the utmost important, or import. They will no doubt prove essential to your goal. The power of the priests may be the key to exceeding your own limits and accomplishing superhuman feats. The goddesses walk with you. I sense steal your cur or I sense steal your courage and prepare to face the truth of the world. Your path will surely become clear. That was a lot to say, hey you have magic now, go find the priest statues. <laughs> but okay. No, I'm not gonna bother with those. Uh to the thingy Now I'm ready. Take that, spike butt. Okay, it's sealed with a powerful force. I don't actually need to fight any of you. Okay, I can open that one. But I need to find the cave-in. I mean, I'll save first, I guess, because normally those are boss doors. It feels a little bit early into the cave to find a boss. I am the priest Hadal. It is good that you have come, warrior. Disaster once again falls upon the land of Yis. As the demons appear in the world below, so did they hear in Yis. He who controls them resides within the Solomon Shrine. When you have brought each of the books of Yis to its rightful owner, the way there shall be open to you. Hadal was bathed in a holy light, and his wounds were healed. You didn't give me any magic. At all. Oh, wait. He said he's at all, right? So if I were to go into my items. Oh. I did already. Okay. Well, I tried. I guess he just doesn't give me anything. So I'll ignore that then. Rustini Mine. Okay, there's not much you. Okay, maybe I was supposed to go through that other one. Get out of my way. Or maybe not. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here. Lots and lots of monsters that I don't care anything about. Okay, we're at another one of these doors, so we'll save here again. Oh, we got another one. I am the Priest Toba. It is good that you have come, warrior. Just as Hadal bears the magic of fire, I, Priest of Wisdom, bear the magic of altar. Each of us can grant you a new power to aid you on your journey. You will need all six. Strike at the heart of evil. So, basically, what she's telling me is if I get all six of them delivered, then I get magic. And the way opens up. 
Okay, well, I mean, I found another one of the things, so it's a good thing I decided to go this way instead. But that doesn't help me rescue the dude. There's so many doors. Okay, so that one has two other doors. And this one has two other doors. Okay. That doesn't look friendly. Woo! I leveled up. No idea what that was, but I killed it. That's all that matters. The path is blocked by rubble from a cave-in. There's a small hole, however, just big enough for a bird. So that must be where it was. Scratch, scrape, scrape. Has someone come to rescue me? You're not a demon, I hope. Adol introduced himself. I'm Flair, Flair Rawl, a doctor from Lance. Thank you for coming to my aid. I trust you received my letter. If you had a medoc, you could use it to dig a path through the fallen stones. I don't suppose you have one, though. Madoc, huh? There's a shovel with a rotted handle. Yeah, that ain't gonna help me any. Alright, well, I found the dude. It killed me in one hit. No wonder I got freaking leveled up by that. Alright, well, that's a little bit of a problem, but that's okay. We'll go redo this whole thing and then go... I guess we won't talk to him first because there's really no point in it. Now I understand why I leveled up, though. I got lucky. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to definitely level up a lot more before that. So let's try one of these other paths then. Since we gotta find that... Everything's killing me now. I was doing just fine until this. Wow. Okay. That's... That's a bit of a problem. Don't want to do this again and again. Actually, I should probably stop here. I'll probably do some training on my own time. But, uh, considering I failed to level up, obviously, woo, um, yeah, it's going to keep happening. What I'll end up doing is I'll train on my own time. I'll do what I did last time and collect enough money to go and get enough armor and supplies and all that stuff. Uh, I need 5,000 just for the next sword, but I'm more focused on getting armor next because of where, you know, I've got the crappiest shield and the crap, uh, no armor at all. Uh, but I will call this one good here. We found two priestesses. We got to the cave and all that stuff. We talked to pretty much everybody in the village, I hope. So, I mean, overall, we should be pretty close. Like, we got a couple of kills here. Uh, yeah, we got the first page, and we've almost finished the second page, and almost finished the third and fourth page. So we got a good chunk of people already. Wow, that was fast. Alright, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, hit that like, subscribe button, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Bye!